An image of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and his wife Ri Sol-ju released by state media Monday has sent out several messages. The reappearance of Kim after a month out of the spotlight, there overseeing a drill involving a super large multiple rocket launcher, holding their ears and bracing themselves as if to demonstrate the North's sheer power. And First Lady Ri's growing status. She's hardly ever been seen at military events, let alone a firing exercise. North Korea's state media said its seven most recent missile tests over the span of just two weeks were drills under the simulation of loading tactical nuclear warheads. And the North's military staged large-scale air attack drills on Saturday, during which more than 150 warplanes took off simultaneously for the first time in history before a series of live-fire striking exercises Sunday including super-large caliber missile firing drills targeting major enemy ports. Kim said they proved the reliability of the thorough preparedness of the state nuclear defense posture, having previously called for the development of tactical nuclear weapons that can be loaded with smaller and lighter warheads. And state media also just disclosed that ballistic missile drills on September 25th simulated the loading of tactical nuclear warheads on a mini SLBM or submarine launched ballistic missile at a silo under a reservoir, making such a launch even harder to anticipate. The general point is that North Korea is showing it has the capability to carry out nuclear strikes against South Korea, having passed a new law just last month allowing their preemptive use if the North is threatened. And Pyongyang has made no secret of feeling endangered by recent allied drills involving the US, South Korea and Japan, particularly due to the presence of powerful American military hardware such as the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier and its strike group. On top of that, the timing of the North's announcement coincided with the 77th founding anniversary of the country's ruling Workers' Party. And it looks like Kim was seeking to demonstrate the strength of his leadership while fostering national unity. Although it's interesting that North Korea was quiet about missile tests earlier in the summer, with some analysts suggesting Pyongyang didn't want to upset the wider public, who may have felt there were more urgent matters to attend to, like a food shortage and the pandemic. Kim also moved further away from past peace efforts, dismissing the need for dialogue while insisting we have nothing to talk about with the enemies after repeated appeals by South Korea and the US for denuclearization talks. Yet the US has responded by again urging North Korea to return to dialogue, with a State Department spokesperson telling us that Washington rejects the North's justification for its recent missile provocations after Pyongyang blamed the US for creating a considerably huge negative splash with the recent redeployment of the USS Ronald Reagan. South Korean President Yoon sung yeol said Tuesday, the North's nuclear threat is growing serious by the day, so the South will ready itself and respond based on a firm alliance with Washington and trilateral security cooperation with both the US and Japan.